no matter what kind of progress you're measuring, whether it's school-wide among groups of students, individual students, parents, teachers, or others, sometimes it might be fun to create a thermometer chart, just as the one you see here, which I just created. So how is this done? Let's go ahead and create one right from the beginning. I'm going to go back to our data. And from here, I'm going to choose a few students. And this time, just like before, we're going to look at quarter two homework. Over here on the right side, you can see I've got the goal of 100%. And I'm also choosing first name and last name. You'll see why I'm doing that in just a little bit. All right, so I'm going to hit the F11 key. That gives me a good old garden variety bar chart. Now it's time to start fixing it up. So there are some things that I don't need. I'm going to get rid of this legend. I just click on it and then hit the delete key. Click on it, hit the delete key, get rid of the vertical axis. And here under names, I'm going to keep those of course. Uh, and then I'm going to go to the home tab, bold them, and then increase the font, make them real big. Okay. Let's now move this to the next step. And on the blue, which is the student performance, I'm going to go ahead and right click on that, add data labels. We're going to make those nice and big and bold. Also, I'm going to right click on that again, format data series. And we're going to change that to a thermometer color dark red. Okay, so we're almost there. Now we're going to move over to the back of the thermometer, which is our goal. Right click, format data series. This time we're going to go to fill and we're going to say no fill. We'll go to border color, choose solid line. We're going to use the same dark red color. Then we'll go to border styles and we're going to increase that line and I like to usually go about seven. You can start to see back here uh, that it's starting to uh, shape up. The last thing we need to do is go to series options. We're going to increase the width of the thermometer. You can see as I do that in the background, that's starting to look pretty good. And then we're going to overlap these. So I'm going to click this guy and move it all the way over here. Now when I close, you can see we've got a nice thermometer chart going. There's only one thing left that we need to add and that's the bulb. So we're going to go up here to insert then we'll go to shapes, click on circle and then I'm going to go ahead and drag a nice looking circle there and now this is why you're going to see I had to include first and last names because of the bulb. That first name or that last name I should say is going to be covered up. So we'll have just the first name. Now that we've got the bulb and I'm looking here, I should probably make this just a little bit bigger. There we go. Uh, time to change the color of that bulb. So we're going to right click, format object, and we're going to do a solid fill, deep red. Let me move that out of the way. It's looking pretty good. I noticed there's a border there though, so we got to get rid of that. Uh, let's see, that would be under line color, no line. There we go. Close it. And so let me click out of there. I think that's starting to look pretty good. I'm going to hold the control key and drag this over, which means I'm making a copy. Same thing over here. You could also do the traditional control C and control V or copy and paste from the edit menu. And here it is. Really the only thing that I have left is to include a, um, a title. And so I'm going to go to Layout under Chart Tools, and we'll say Chart Title. Oh, I'll say Above the Chart. Percent of Homework Completed. Make that nice and big. And that's it. So that is how you create thermometer charts. Now, the nice thing is, as you can see, that this is connected to the data. So when we go back to the data, let's say Sharon has an amazing week and she does 98% of her homework. When I go back to the chart, her data changes. You can see she's almost at 100%.